Hi, this is Ron Mitchu. We're playing the Hunter. Today we're taking a look at the Ibex and this is a guide to help people who are struggling finding them. Quite a simple guide. We've started here at Maison de Nient. I think it's pronounced. Maybe not, but that's what I see it as. What we're going to do is where my curse is going, we're going to follow all the way up this right hand side to the end. There's a part where you slide down and then there's another climbing section where you climb up for the last bit. And that's it. Make sure before we set off that you've got some medikits just in case you fall, might not do, and ropes for the climbing section. I've already got my ropes installed so we'll just go to my locations and have a look around the reserve. I will be running most of the way because it's more important just to show you the route. I'm not going to actually hunt it and crouch walk everywhere. But when you're actually hunting properly, you should be crouch walking and looking around because the ibex are very spooky. And when you're um, looking for them, what you want to be listening for is rocks falling or horns clashing. When you hear that, make sure you're looking all around uh, your area because they're often quite close okay we're near the first climbing location very close to spawn so easy to find what you're looking for is rocks going up in a certain formation and you can place your rope this is a small climb so it's only one uh, lot of ropes and fairly easy to do some people are having troubles climbing as well. What you want to do is only keep your finger on W and A and S. When it goes past the middle, hold the button down until it comes back to the middle and then just carry on climbing. It's pretty simple. So here's our rope, we're going to go up now. And then we'll start our Ibex hunting on this plateau we're just going to reach. Sometimes you'll get a call just where we are. Um, the often on the right hand side is a, a mountain that goes all the way around the edge. So what you want to do is as soon as you get up here, crouch and then start listening and looking. Okay, that's us to the top. As we was climbing, I did hear some rocks fall, so there is an ibex in front of us somewhere. As I continue through this route, you'll see the line of my route being drawn on the map as well, so you can pause it and just check like that when you're doing uh, your run through of it. Right. When I come this way, mainly I will get ibex where the sun is or along that ridge so always check there with the bow nose don't run up here either because just as you run up over this hill straight in front of us probably I don't know a few hundred meters often you'll find ibex there as well so any kind of false movement here or rush and you'll probably scare them and they'll go straight out of draw so crouch walk up here listening for rocks falling and horns clashing this area isn't very big either so it's quite easy to cover it's quite open and because you've got like uh, a cul-de-sac and the mountains the ibex can't really go anywhere they'll dash up the mountain sides but they go up them quite slowly so even if they start rushing up you can still get them so it's sort of like a trap where I'm looking now is the key area and straight in front of me. On my left, where I'll show you in a minute, is also a very important part. 
you can't see at the moment but when you move forward slightly here that area will get drawn because it's a long distance and sometimes ibex will just like sort of appear over to the left of the, the range so just be aware of when you're walking up here areas getting drawn because of the long distances So that's that area checked, but just be aware that because the ibex are grey colour and its surroundings, it's very easy to not see them. I do it myself quite often, so if you spook some, it's not too bad in this area because of what I mentioned, it's like a cul-de-sac trap. So. so we're moving onwards now. I'm going to go up towards the mountain in the background at 12 o'clock. Remember to keep looking and listening. And there's the Ibex I've spooked, which we missed. He's running down the hill towards me. I'll take a shot. And I'll hit that quite cleanly. When the Ibex run, they'll sprint a little bit and then they'll slow down and that's what you want to wait for if you're going to try and take a shot on the run. Uh, they'll just slow for a short period and then if you hit them clean with a, a good gun like a 300 or the bullpup or something like that, then they'll be more or less dead. So we'll go and collect the ibex, not a particularly big one, but it did highlight the area that you find them in. On steep slopes, the ibex after you shoot them will often slide down, so just be aware that they won't be where you probably shot them. In areas like this they might roll or slide down, so like now I'm just looking for it and it's actually below me so we'll go and collect this I'll take a trophy shot and then we'll carry on up towards the mountain at 12 o'clock Right, on we go. Here's the route, up to yet. As you've seen, it doesn't take long to start getting the Ibex. That's where we'll be going in a minute, through those two uh, mountains. There's a little canyon that goes through it. At first we'll go up here, towards the sun. It's a bit steep here. On my right, you often find ibex around these mountains somewhere sometimes right on the edge on the crest of them so you have to have a look there you would obviously move a bit slower than what I am I'm just trying to highlight the areas and I often walk straight up in the middle towards there's a, a big pointy rock up here and then I sit on it and you can view all on the right in front of you and to the left the left won't be fully drawn because of the distance so I check my right hand side first uh, all around near the glacier in front of us this often has ibex all around this area so just scope up with your binoculars look above as well listen for any rocks falling or any horns clashing straight in front have a look there also that's where we'll be going in a minute look over there because that's quite a good hot spot found quite a few herds of ibex over there so all a good area and this as I was saying it's like a cul-de-sac trap so if you spot a mare even if they run you've got a good chance of getting them again anyway so 
quite a good spot and I think a lot of people will use this once they learn this is an area to get them. Right, we'll move on towards the glacier now. Be aware that the full distance here might not be drawn. So as you push forwards, you can see the background here and you might think, well, there's nothing there because I can see. But that's not the case because of the draw line. So be careful when you move through here. Crouch, walk and keep looking forward in case it does get drawn and there's Ibex in that area. It's because it's really a long distance. Look all around this area. Look for tracks or any signs. So here's a track there. So there's obviously Ibex in this area or around this location. They're often on those walls of the mountains. They'll be like crouching on them. You might not see them at first. You might hear a rock fall and then look up and it'll just be there. They blend so well into the mountains. So that's it. That area is roughly covered, so what we're doing now is we're going to go through the, uh, the little canyon to my left. It's in between the two mountains. This is a hot spot. Often, just on the edge on the right, at the top of the mountain, you'll get males or females just perched there. So just be aware of that as we walk through here. Always check that area especially. As you walk through, there's a short walk through the little corridor and there's a climbing point it's a sheer straight drop so don't just go running through there because you'll end up dead I'm just collecting my tracks at the minute to build up my skills I think I'm up to level 5 or 6 now so there's a lot of tracks going through here so it soon builds up as you can see a lot of them are leading towards this little cut through in the mountains and just above me now this area here see some very nice males uh, some guy I was hunting with with a uh, open lobby uh, yesterday he had a very big one uh, 284 ibex here so there's the valley I'm going to cut through here take a quick look as you can see fairly simple and carry straight on then we'll have to climb down in a minute this rock face some people weren't sure how to get onto this plateau I'm going to go on to on the right the map's really new so not everyone will have discovered all the climbing points or certain locations I'm doing so myself you only get to learn most of this by exploring on the ridge on the right you often get them on top there sometimes you can't actually get them but they'll be on there but sometimes if they, they'll roll over the mountain where I've just put the red dot to highlight is like a little U shape on the other side of the mountain and they'll come down there and then you'll be able to see them when you climb down so just be aware don't run down here just in case you spook them we'll move on to the climbing spot just here you would need a rope normally here but I've obviously got mine set up to do this walkthrough to show you so just be aware as you look you, you'll be looking at the horizon but if you see what's going to happen now it's a sheer drop straight down so if you come running over it you're just going to fall to your death so just be aware of that here's the rope point and then I'm going to climb down where I'm looking there that's a very good hot spot as well there's a bit of a meadow there I've often seen five or six ibex there and some very big ones so just be aware you can check there first before you go down but it's close from here to like the draw line there's the ibex just over there I'll mark that another good little tip is to just mark where you got the call from if you're doing something else so you don't lose it and you know which direction it's going to be coming from 
now we're going to climb down. Just remember to keep the arrow roughly in the middle and then counter it back to the middle with the opposite key. Hold it down to bring it back and then as soon as it's on its way back then let go and just continue climbing. Don't judge the climbing on your first couple of goes. Wait until you've practiced it a bit and got the hang of it. I can literally run up and down the walls now with no issues. Okay, on to this next plateau, just over here, real good area. As soon as you get down from the rocks, you want to crouch, walk, because just above me on the right, there could be ibex, there will definitely be ibex down here, and all around this area. Just checking all the surrounding area. This is what you want to do every few hundred meters. Crouch walk, move up to the next section, do the same again. You will be find Ibex here, guarantee you, every time. If it's not here, it'll be on the right or just further up. Some people want callers, but I don't think that is realistic or would really work for these also a little challenge sometimes makes the animals a bit more rewarding when you get them here's a track so we know there's ibex in the area. Very important that you listen once you get your tracks for the rock falls. And keep moving forwards. Just over there, there's a little U shape in the rocks often get ibex there a little meadow down there seen five or six ibex at a time on this little meadow here Not at the moment, but it is normally a very good area. There was the rocks falling that I was talking about. So we know the ibex are here in this area. The spook one there I didn't see. What we'll do is I'll just check over this again just really thoroughly and uh, make sure there isn't some near the rocks I haven't seen the ibex because of similar colors to the rocks really do blend in well this is why when you're in the areas where they are you have to really look around because sometimes it looks clear and it isn't clear and obviously just like what's happened there one will run off
It's very important to state what I was on about with the areas being drawn again. Sometimes with the background it looks closer than what it is. So when you move up to a newer area, it gets drawn again and like I say, you might think, oh that area is clear, but it isn't at the Ibex. So always keep that in mind every time you move up a bit. So I know his Ibex definitely here. I'm just going to keep moving up. We should see something around here because we know one's just ran up. There's often some just here when I'm looking on the right or on the left or straight down the middle. So some really good areas. Another track there. Up to our right in a minute is a sort of a mound and it splits. You can go left and carry on on this little plateau we're on. Or there's like a little valley that goes around the side. If you do like a herding technique like I might do sometimes, which is run down here. If the ibex are there sometimes they'll go to the right and go down that little channel there's an ibex that's one down there's another one there but I'll leave him the reason I left it is I could have shot it if I shot it it might have gone over the edge slid down into the other valley and obviously I'm doing the walk through so it means that I have to go all the way back down there all the way back and then carry on from there so we'll go over and collect this one and then we'll continue on the upper scores of the Ibex seem to be about 280-ish maybe 290 max a few people's had 284 285 sort of range so it's looking like maybe 290 max i was doing an open room on mine earlier and some guy had a 284 and that was just over here to the left so hopefully i get one myself Here's the Ibex. Let's quickly collect that. Little tip here, when you're doing uh, trophy shots for Ibex, you want to do it from behind the animal. I found this works really easy at doing good trophy shots. So face your back, pick the Ibex up like that and look that takes like one or two seconds and you get a pretty decent shot this wall here big plate there often you get ibex crouching you do like a little rabbit hop sometimes across them not used to hunting them sometimes you might not look there but with the ibex you really do have to check everywhere just in case
There's the man that was on about earlier. Now, if you were sprinting down here, it's not recommended, but if you do like a herding technique, which can work in Hunter quite well sometimes, if you look, there's a left and a right hand side. Well, if you spook the animals, the ibex might run down the right hand side there on that little channel and behind the mountain. And if they do that, what they often do is they run up that little plate of the mountain. And what that means is because it's an angle, they'll slow down. So you've got a good chance of hitting them on the run. So it's sort of like a herding trap there. If they run to the left, there's only so far they can go anyway because this. Uh, plateau is nearly ended so you've got sort of a, a cul-de-sac again like we had earlier So we're going up the top of here, like I just said, if the ibex was to my right here, they'd run round, they'd either carry on down the channel, just over this hill, or they'd go up the plate side of this mountain, and they'll go slow because they're going up at an angle so you can shoot them as you see here. There's an ibex there, just like I was saying. It's going to run around the corner. You can shoot it or slide down, and you should be able to get it. So we'll carry on down here. There's a little ledge drop uh, about 100 meters down here, and then you move on and then round to the right. So I'm back to track there, one here, might have been that one that's just run up there. Just around the corner here, there's like the edge of the plateau, so you have to slide down. So this is where you need medikits really. You can make it down without dying, but it's 50-50 uh, it's sometimes, so if you slide down and then you need a rope for the next section of this, you could always just start at the next section and go up there, because it is a big area and a good plateau, quite a wide area, and there is quite a lot of ibex on there. So I'm just collecting the tracks now, following it round, listening for rock falls. Sometimes you get them just above there because obviously you've just seen one run round and uh, that's where they are. There's the current route. So you can follow this, pause it just to check. It's pretty simple anyway, but it's very straightforward. I'm clicking all the ibex tracks just to level up my tracking as well so you should do the same really quite low because it does help you out here's the part i was on about we've come to the end of this plateau but there's a the red deer female i'll leave that but what it is it's really steep so you have to slide down here to reach the next part. The problem with that being is that you probably will die. If you pull hard right, sometimes you can get away with it. But like me just now, I haven't got away with it. So I'll have to heal. So that's why you do need a medikit. Then we'll progress onto this bit here, the next climbing spot. I'll climb up here onto the next plateau. This is the last plateau of this section, but it is a very good one, and you often get 
I don't know. Four to six, maybe Ibex, you could get here, kills. So it's very worth it. This is a decent climb. So those that hate the climbing, I'll be like, oh no, not that. But it's not too bad. As said, what most people do wrong is when they're climbing and they get into trouble, they just tap in the counterbalance. So look how the arrow goes there now. I'm, I'm instantly countering as soon as it goes past the middle with the counter key. So opposite, counter it and just pull it back to the middle as soon as it goes slightly back just hold the key don't tap it that is where most people go wrong they try and just tap it and then wonder why they've fallen you're best to just go and practice and even walls that are quite high you'll do it first time There we go, straight up the rocks, no problem at all, like I say just, just practice a little bit if you're having trouble with the climbing. There's a route as we stand now, we're on the last section of this guide for route 1. Okay. On our right here, it's like a really big gully. So it's like a big basin. And what happens is Ibex go down here and they can't run straight up or get away. So sort of like a herding technique. I know if there's any Ibex here and they go right, they're gonna go in that basin and they can't like sprint away because they've got to climb up walls and stuff. So I don't mind if they go right because I've already got them. So we'll move over, I'll just show you. If you look on the right, the wall of the mountains is like a brick wall. It goes all the way around this section. And Ibex seem to stick on this sort of area, all around those walls. Remember what I said about looking forward, always forward, keep an eye out and listen. There we go, there's a rock fall, no Ibex is over there. There's one hanging on the wall. Was hanging on the wall. Some others are running. So I'll have a shot at them. So I was saying, they won't run as fast as they would on flat ground because obviously they've got to run up at the angle and run up the wall so you don't need to panic if they did go up there because you, you'll catch them up and they'll probably perch up there or go up high and you can see them anyway. So I'm just moving up. It's one of the other ones that just run off. As we covered earlier, they'll often run, sprint, and then have a little 
few seconds of just like trotting and that's when you get your hold your breath and then just take the clean shot run over and collect those now so as you see it's not really too hard the ibex it's not hard to locate it's mainly because it's new and it's just finding the locations and how to hunt them Quick trophy shot. Go cut the others. Trying to find out where I shot them. Somewhere around here. Here we go. I said do it from behind like this in trophy shop mode seems to make it a lot easier with the ibex so there's the route since we started nearly at the end now just going to collect tracks and just keep an eye out up until the end I hope this helps a lot of you out you should do because the ibex isn't that hard to hunt really it's just all about location and being aware of the sounds they make to find them that is the main thing with the ibex I'm just collecting tracks now. I'm also checking on the right, just in case there is some ibex. Sometimes you see them on that cliff face there, just before we finish. Just down here, there is like a, a house. It's sort of like uh, in rubble, disabandoned. And that's the end of this route.
So this is part one of my Ibex guide. I hope you find this helpful. And you get Ibex if you're struggling. That's the whole point of why I've done this. They're not too hard to get. My name is Ron McTube. This game is The Hunter on PC. We're after the Ibex. We're on Val de Boa. That's the map. Make sure you check out part two, which I will add after I've done this one and uploaded it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels.